I'm here because I am a roaring lion crying out righteousness. Bud Light had this tranny uh, advertising Budweiser beer going back a few months ago and the Budweiser beer drinkers boycotted Bud. They failed, their, their sales fell by as much as 28%. There are two things. And thing number one is that to anybody who believes the word of God and believes in your heart that homosexuality is wrong, that transvestite is wrong, that lesbianism is wrong, now, you believe it because the Bible tells you and the, and the, the, the world as which we know it from up and down to black and white and, and, and sunlight and darkness tells us that it's wrong. We believe that. But there's a power in America now that in the media and in politics that can condemn you for believing that and call you a hater because you believe what Moses said, you believe what Jesus said, you believe what the Apostle Paul said, and you live it where they call you a hater. So you're afraid that now what is now happening is that we got believers in, if you will, the Bible sexuality now hiding in the closet. We got those who believe in the Bible, uh, if you will, teaching on gender and sexuality and marriage. We have had to go in the closet. We've had to hide our beliefs. Well, I haven't hide hidden mine, but you understand I'm relating. We've had to hide our belief. Now we're in the closet. The homosexuals are out of the closet. The trannies are out of the closet. The lesbians are out of the closet. The bi's are out of the closet. Out of the closet. The queers are out of the closet. And we have had, if we want to live in America, if we want to be treated fairly in court, if you want to be treated, don't get hired on a job, or if you want to be looked upon with favor, you got to go, you got to go in the closet. So there's a reversal now. We've got those who believe in the Bible, believe Moses, believe Jesus, believe the Apostle Paul, believe the word of God. We're now in the closet. But Chris Christie knows that truth. And he knows that if you condemn the same way Chris Christie condemns, uh, if you will, Nikki Haley and Tim Scott for not actually speaking the truth about tribulation Trump being a con man, a grifter, uh, and, a, and, a, and a gangster criminal, he won't, they won't condemn him. They, you know, walk around it. They hide in the closet. Chris Christie comes out. But now when it comes to this, if you will, homosexuality, Chris Christie won't condemn that. He will not condemn it. But I want to say that's number one. Number two is that if you are in the closet, come out of the closet. If you're in the closet because you're afraid of what homosexuals can do to you in court, afraid of what they can do to you in the business place, afraid of what they can do to you in the workplace. If you are in the closet because you're afraid, come out of the closet. Come out of the closet and stand with Jesus, Moses, and with uh, the Apostle Paul and with James David Manning. But watch Chris Christie. And by the way, Thank all of you that caused the Bud Light sales to go down by as much as 28% and they've not recovered. There's a strong audience out there that knows that this mess is wrong. Go ahead, Mr. Engineer.